Get well soon, Lap Bam Bob. We miss you and your comments. Because <laughs> it's the only one we get. Yeah, where is everybody? <laughs> it's, been, it's been dark the last couple weeks. <laughs> Pretty awesome top five for you this week. There was some really cool books. Uh, surprisingly enough, some convergence made it onto the top five in like the most awesome way. Marvel and DC on the top five. Right. I think there's more Kate books than have ever made it onto the top five before. And there would be one more. There would be multiversity, but somebody forgot to bring our copy of it. Namely so you. That's just <laughs> an honorable mention. Multiversity. Go multiversity read it. Multiversity ended. It was amazing. You should go and buy it. It was really cool. Captain Carrot returns. Anyway. So if we had it, where would that have ranked? Mm, two. And New Avengers would, well, Avengers would not have made it. Because we could do that. Avengers. Yeah. I mean, Avengers was cool, but not as cool as New Avengers. And now I've gotten the entire... We're just going to do the top five and I'll tell you where it would have been. But yeah, it would have been <laughs> number two. It would have been number two. All right. Top five. One still would have been one. All right. Coming in at number five, it is uh, the Avengers issue number 44. It's really cool. It's a double-sized issue for one. Uh, and it is a rap cover, which is really cool. Basically, if you read Civil War and didn't like the way it ended, it's Steve Rogers' revenge. He finds out all of just the terrible things that Tony Stark has been up to the last year and decides to put on a War Machine outfit and beat the brakes off of Tony Stark. And then right at the end, like, you know, the Ultimate Universe shows up and invades them. And that's the cliffhanger. That sets you up for Secret Wars. Probably go read the free comic book day issue, and then a week from yesterday... Secret Wars number one comes out. It is hit 1957, issue number two. Um, excellent crowd noir story. Extremely violent still. Like, not not as, like, uh, detective-driven as a lot of the stuff that Brubaker's doing, but still a solid addition to that genre. Coming in at number three is another K-book. We have New Avengers, issue number 33, featuring Doom on the cover, Doom all over this book. If you're a Doctor Doom fan, this is the book for you. If you're not a Doctor Doom fan, this book is probably going to make you a Doctor Doom fan because he now has his own religion, which is really cool. Are you an acolyte? Not yet. I'm not worthy. <laughs> I know my limits. Uh, coming in number two, which was I thought was going to be cool when I picked it up, and it was surprisingly way awesome, it is Convergence Shazam issue number one. Um, so all the convergence titles take two previously existing DC Universe worlds and pit them against each other in like a Hunger Games kind of thing. This one takes the old Fawcett City comics universe where Captain Marvel originated and pits it against the Gotham by Gaslight, which is like if Gotham was part of England in the Victoria Times universe. Um, it was awesome. Great writing. Great illustrations, and uh, Tawny the Tiger shows up, so what else do you want from a book? Nothing. That's what you want. And coming in at number one, it is They're Not Like Us, issue number five. Thought it was going to wrap up the first story arc. No, first story arc is going to be six issues. But this one does give you the secret history of The Voice, and if you liked him for his villainous ways before reading this issue, he is now going to be your god. And if you didn't like him for his villainous ways before reading this issue, you're going to be disturbed. That's going to do it for our top five. Be sure to check out our free comic book day video this week for the previews of all the free comic books that are coming out this Saturday. And until next week, stay frosty. That's a wrap.